Hello, Terry, Harry the Snack Guy, Harrison the Snacks and Guy is in. Uh, somebody sent me this. Wow, that wasn't just a mic bump, that was a light bump. Somebody sent me this. It is a box of snacks. I don't know what it is. Uh, I have not opened it yet, though. I promise. Scout's Honor. It was never a scout, but um, the point stands. I promise that I never opened this. No way. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? Guys, it's Tetris themed gummies. Thank you to my dear cousin Nolan for getting me these. Nolan, of course, knows that I consider Tetris one of the all time great games. This is awesome. I almost don't even want to eat these. I have to, though. The iconic Tetramino shapes eat and enjoy. Bonus secret shape. So we have. Let's see, is it on the, oh, we don't have a good photo here, but basically there's, you know, the L, the J, the S, the Z, the square, the T, and the line piece. But now there's a bonus secret shape? What? So Power Bears, that's the name, I've never heard of this brand. Ooh, I'm getting hit with that classic, I'm a gummy, I'm a fruit gummy smell. Hate to say it, but it's a little bit of an odd smell. I'm entirely used to that smell coming from gummies. First piece. Ooh, the orange, the L. Or I guess that's a, that's an L block. Yeah, that's an L block. All right, I guess it's orange flavored. Don't worry, guys. Good source of vitamin C and E. Um, that's not bad. Good orange flavor on that particular piece. Uh, it's a gummy candy, so you know you gotta chew it. You gotta chew it. But that's fine. How could you not love these? Oh, and then here's um, here's out. This is actually kind of funny how this worked out. This is uh, L piece's friend, uh, what I would call J piece, because it you know if you if you draw the letter J, L and J. Oh, it's from Germany. That's why I've never heard of it. It's from Germany. That makes sense. I mean, it doesn't make sense that they made a Tetris thing, but it makes sense that I've never heard of it. Oh, look. Made with gummy tech. Trying to find that bonus shape that they're talking about. Nope, oh, here we go. This is S piece. Uh, oh wait, no, that's Z, I'm sorry. That's a Z. So far they taste pretty good. The smell has like a, there's, I wonder if that's like one of the, just the flavors that I'm smelling that's like a little bit stronger than the other ones. It smells okay taste so far the three i tried so i tried an orange i tried like i guess that was like a blueberry it wasn't raspberry it wasn't blue raspberry there are flavors on the back it says naturally flavored gummy snack with 20 percent fruit juice passion fruit orange cherry blackberry peach blueberry apple and raspberry flavors so maybe that was a blue raspberry for that one piece the one i just had i would guess is probably the passion fruit because it didn't taste it was like a reddish but it didn't taste like apple I'm assuming the apple is going to be green because usually in candies, apple is green. This is actually the yes. This might be apple because of this like pale golden color. That might be peach. So then we have the square piece, the most boring of all the tetraminos. That's peach. I'll take it back. The S piece was the apple. Oh, uh, we got the T. T. Very powerful piece. If you can get those T-spins. I'm still not at the point in my Tetris skills where I can consistently get T-spins. It's the next it's the next level up for me. T. Blackberry. I mean, the T was pretty dark and had a little purple hue, so I'm going to guess Blackberry. And last but not least. Actually, this isn't last but not least because there's the bonus shape. Um, The line piece. Line piece from that college humor sketch. Brilliant. Line piece. That was apple. It was green. So what the hell? This must have been cherry then. This must have been cherry. This obviously is orange. This I think was peach. This had to have been blueberry. This was definitely the blackberry. This I'm thinking was passion fruit. Future Harrison. Uh, in the chaos of recording, and I didn't realize I didn't put on camera a taste test of the bonus piece, so here it is. This bear is the bonus piece. It has nothing to do with Tetris. It is the company logo. 
that speech. Back to your regular scheduled programming. So my recording crashed. Um, I was in the middle of describing all the flavors. I forgot what I got to. But long story short, these gummies taste pretty good. They do taste good. They're Tetris themed. Hooray. Love it. I, I'm not a fan of passion fruit in general. And I'm not a fan of peach. Everything else, though, I can dig. So if I just could figure out which one is which, that would be great. Uh, <laughs> these are pretty cool. Uh, they're definitely more of like in the vein of like gummy worm. I'm actually kind of a little bit ignorant about the whole like gummy sphere of candy. They're not usually what I'll go for, but considering this is Tetris themed, I'm all for it. They're not like, um, they're not sour. They're not like harder, like, like a Sour Patch Kids. They're not like that type of gummy. Those those are a little bit harder. They're more chewy than a Welch's fruit snack. There's, there's no like coating on it. There's no citric acid on it, so it doesn't make it sour. And I feel like some of those like Sour Patch Kids are harder. This is more like soft, if that makes sense. All that being said, of the gummies I've had in my life, these taste pretty good. I wonder if that's because I'm just going to... I'm going to call that foreign bias because it's made from a, it's made in Germany. It's not made in the U S therefore it's probably better quality ingredients. Again, thank you to my cousin Nolan. I'm not sure where he got these. I'm assuming Amazon, uh, maybe like a third party company, but probably Amazon. Uh, thank you so much for getting me these, these rocked. I'll give them like a solid eight out of 10. Really enjoyed them. Pretty, pretty good gummies. Do all the things you're supposed to do. Like this video, subscribe to my channel share this video and comment if you've ever had these gummies if you like gummies if you can point me in the direction of good brands of gummies to try i'm all for it i'll try it the, the gummies definitely fall under the snack umbrella and if i'm the snack guy i have to i have to embrace the gummies so have a good one bye